Hello and thank you for watching Direct Systems Tutorials. Today we're going to go through how to cut accounts payable checks. Most companies will issue checks on a weekly basis to their vendors based on when those invoices are due to be paid. This procedure will explain how to select invoices to include in a check run and print the checks. You can also use tools here to print checks for individual invoices and individual vendors. In Accounts Payable module, click on Transactions and select for payment, all vendors. In the operation, make sure it's set to select because otherwise it will unselect as we will see in a minute. You want to either include all AP accounts or just choose the account that you want to um, run checks for. You would want to set the date to a future date most likely, maybe before the next check run, so that you make sure to include everyone and don't, have, don't pay anybody late. So I'll select there and then click on begin. And this has found two records. So I'm going to go through how to individually select invoices. Um, but for now, in this particular video, we're just going to be working on, on how we've just selected them all there. So once you've selected all the right invoices, choose transactions, print checks, and then all vendors. Select the appropriate AP account and click Begin. This will display all vendors and total amounts to be paid to each. If you wish, you can get a printout of the screen using Print Summary or get a printout of the invoices as well using Print Detail down here. To print checks, click on Print Checks, enter the bank number the checks will draw from. Um, so choose the right bank first. And then the beginning check number you can check and see what numbers you have used in the past because it will not let you use the same check number again. In this case, we seem to be in a sequence here of 1653. So I'll check that with my what I'm doing here and I'll enter 1654. And that should check show as available, which it does. And then we would want to make sure that the check date is the appropriate check date for what we want it to show and the posting month and year as well. Most people are using laser printers or regular printers these days and not, not a continuous file. Then you would go ahead and click on Print Checks and then OK. And then review this screen because if this screen does not look like you're expecting it to, then when you send it to the printer, it's not going to print what you're expecting it to. So if this is not correct, you want to X out of it. But if it is correct, go ahead and press, press on the little printer icon up there. Now, if everything's gone according to plan and you're happy with the way that the checks came out of the printer, this is at which point that you choose record checks. If you aren't happy with how they came out of the printer, you can put cancel and go back through that same check process and print them again. So we are happy with them, so we're just going to click on Actually, I think in this case today, because I'm a demo account and I'm going to do another uh, tutorial in a moment, <laughs> I'm going to click cancel so that you can just see what we have got here. And that's okay. Select yes to cancel and leave the checks unrecorded. That's fine. So hopefully this has helped to show you how you can um, select for all vendors and do a quick print run for everything. If you have any questions, and just let us know and I'll be back to do another video on how to do select individual checks so that you're just doing ones for particular vendors. Hope that helps. Have a great day. Thank you.